Well, we might as well talk about the Young Bucks then. Now, this isn't a knock on the Young Bucks <laughs> at all, actually. Uh, so last year, when AEW was in Los Angeles, hometown wrestlers, the Young Bucks, took on Penta and Phoenix on Rampage, and they drew 7,540 uh, for a Rampage, taping that they were main eventing. This year, with Dynamite going into Los Angeles, the Young Bucks weren't even announced for the card until a day prior, and then they were going to wrestle... Penta and Phoenix again, but Phoenix wasn't cleared, so Commander took his place, and tickets sold for the show as of Tuesday, so obviously they had a day, day and a half to sell more tickets, was around 3,300. I don't know about last minute purchases and walk up at this time, but it couldn't have been more than 4,000. So why the Young Bucks? They are the hometown guys. They are a draw in their hometown. Why would you not put them on the show until last minute and give them no advance notice? That's a good question. That's called promoting. Hmm. You, you know, if you're going to run a concert, wouldn't you advance it? Wouldn't you advertise it months out? And so everybody knows. And if you have a special band coming in that means something to the area, wouldn't they be one of your main promotional gimmicks to get people into the building? That is just that goes against every rule of promoting ever. Promoting 101. Let the people know who's coming. So if they're that over in that area, yeah, that would have been the first the first names I would put on the I would put on the card mm. or the poster or whatever they let out to advertise the show. That's why. How long have I said that Tony needs to be, well, I, I said that he needs to be the boss. He needs to be the booker, which he is the booker. But who who is in charge of promoting? That's not Tony. That's not really Tony's job, is it? Well, he's the booker, so he should be booking in advance who's going to be on these cards, and then someone needs to promote that beyond social well, media if they do at all. So you're saying that they just put them on the card because Tony just added them. Well, uh, do you know, this actually might go to, I don't know if this is a Brian Alvarez thing, weirdly. He said on Tuesday, hey, it, it, actually the same thing that I'm saying now, like the Young Bucks in the hometown, you've not got them on the show. And then mysteriously, a couple of hours after they produced that show, the Young Bucks were added, but they were very much a last second addition when, quite frankly, they should have been the main event. <clears throat> okay, let me ask you star. about the Young Bucks. What, what else do they do in AEW? So are they do, do they work in the office too? Are they are they re-signed as executive vice presidents of the company. And what's that mean though? Great question. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, probably assist with some booking. But honestly, I don't think that's ever been clarified. I mean, I know they're executive vice presidents, but, but, but they whatever. disappeared in 2023. They've they've not really been on AEW television that much this year. They sort of just they're not on the witness protection. When I was they, watching. When I was watching AEW Rampage, that's on Friday night, right? Mm -hmm. I very seldom saw the Young Bucks. And I'm kind of, I mean, I'm probably more familiar with their independent stuff than I am their AEW stuff. Did you book them in TNA when they were Generation Me before you left? Because I think they were no. in, in 2009. No. Okay. Well, I may have, but again, they they would show up with, they're just, if you look at them, they're just, if I saw them now and I was working for WWE and they wanted to come in, I'm going to have to give them a hard no because they don't look like the talent that WWE is looking for. They're looking for people that look different. The young bucks don't look different. They actually look like a, a, a leftover, you know, <laughs> high school dropout with long hair. You know, they're they have their little following, I guess, but as I don't think it's not enough to to sell a building out. And they do some great stuff. Hey, do you know, in, in all fairness to them, between them and Kenny Omega, they really did huge, huge business in Japan in the mid-2010s. They really did. And they did big business in Ring of Honor when that brief period when Ring of Honor was actually semi-popular and becoming a... Uh, uh, sort of like before AEW, sort of uh, becoming a 
rivals. What they do in Ring of Honor? I don't know. They're just there, main eventing and actually selling tickets. What What they do there? What do you mean they did great business? What's that mean? Oh, they just they were just sort of booked as stars, and they attracted a lot of fans. Did they? Oh, did they produce ratings? <clears throat> it's tough to say producing ratings when Ring of Honor <laughs> was on such a lowly rated yeah. station in the first place. So that statement you made is they they really did well. Their matches maybe look good, but did it increase the viewership? You don't know. Because they didn't have ratings, right? Uh, if they did, they were very, very low. They were on some really low thing. I don't know. What do you want? What do you want from? Me? Oh, I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying that if, if WWE would not book those guys, but AEW aren't would, booking them that often either. That's the, that's the funny thing. Well, Even maybe the EVPs. Maybe Tony is. <laughs> maybe is Tony is looking after his, his promotion. <laughs> but I think if you got these guys, executive vice presidents. I think their look needs updating, really updating, and they can make it work because those guys have some personality. So if they would take it personality, and I think cut the hair, uh, kind of get within the, you know, it, it's short hair is, uh, I guess, the rage now, but at least look like uh, some of the, if you want to have a bunch of long-haired leftover hippies who's 40 years out of date, flooding the arena where well, you can you you can have them looking like you but uh, i'm thinking the way they look now they they work great i mean th nothing wrong with their work it's their look it's their presentation so and this is not a slam on the young bucks because i'm sure the young bucks will see this and say what the hell is you talking about a big fat bastard hey don't call me fat stop that you can call me a bastard don't call me <laughs> but uh I don't. I don't think they're uh, ratings kings. I just don't. 